This makes a nice stretchy bind off and there are a few different ways that you can do this. The first way that I'm going to show you is by working through the back loops. You'll knit two together through the back loop. And then you'll return the stitch that's on your left needle to the right needle, just like that. And then again, you'll knit two together through the back loop. Stitch from the right needle goes back to the left needle. That's all you're doing. Knitting two together through the back loop. Returning the stitch to your left needle to be worked again. Two stitches, knit together through the back loop, and then you would cut your tail and weave in your ends. Cut. Makes a pretty flexible bind off edge. Instead of knitting two together through the back loop, you can just knit two together as you normally would through the front loops. Put the stitch back on your left needle. Knit two together through the front loop. And then same thing when you get to the end of this, you would work your last two stitches by knitting two together, pulling your tail through and cutting your end to weave in the tail. But that also gives you a flexible edge. A third way that you can work the decrease bind off is by purling two stitches together. So you just purl two together. And then that stitch goes back to the left needle. Just like the other two methods that I showed you.
So you can use the decrease bind off anywhere that you need a flexible edge, like maybe on toe up socks or around the neckline of a sweater. And of course, with the purl method, you would just purl your last two stitches together, cut your tail, and weave in your end. Another nice flexible edge here. And that's the decrease bind off three ways.